Hello, I hope you are doing great. In this session, I will show you how to know more about Kotlin versions and releases and Kotlin official documentation which you can use for reference and learning purpose. Kotlinlang.org is Kotlin's official website. This is Kotlin's official website, kotlinlang.org and we are seeing its documentation. First thing I want to show you is the release section. Kotlin has different types of releases, feature releases, which bring major changes in the language, incremental releases that are shipped between feature releases and include updates in the tooling, performance, bug fixes, etc. And then bug fix releases. There is a different way to version the feature release incremental release and bug fixes release this is one of the example to demonstrate how they are using their versioning now i will take you to the important part for now yes this is the one release details you can see the details of different release 1.5.31 for example it is released on September 20th, 2021. Same way you can see the details of the older release. These are the hyperlinks which you can access for more details. Now I want to take you on the next important area which is uh, under the build tool section, Maven. We are using Maven to build our examples. So that's why Maven otherwise you can use Gradle or Ant whichever you are more comfortable with. It explains that how to use the Kotlin in your project. How do you configure your Maven project, your form.xml. Okay. It tells about the plugin versions which you may want to use. And it talks about the dependencies like Kotlin stdlib. We need it. We need to package it when we deliver our Kotlin application. There are ways to compile the source code when project have only Kotlin classes. There is a possibility you can have mix of Kotlin and Java source code. This is the way you need to set up your build. Here you can see this is one plugin Kotlin Maven plugin and here there is another plugin, Maven compiler plugin. Okay, so it explains how to set up a project when you are using Kotlin and Java source code in your application. Next is about incremental compilation. We will go in detail of incremental compilation in some another session. Important thing is uh, how to set up your project to create a jar file. If you want to create a self-contained jar file with all the dependencies packaged inside it, this is the way you can set up your assembly plugin. These are some of the things where you can set your compiler options. Right? So this is a pretty much good documentation which you can refer whenever you want. Another section I want to show you, basically it's the home page of the documentation it will cover a lot of important areas like how to start with Kotlin it has a lot of detailed things if you want to go through this section what's new in Kotlin about the basic concepts how do you want to learn and explore more about Kotlin and just for example if you want to see the different concepts covered in the Kotlin how they work you can come back here and check for example null safety yeah see it's a pretty detailed explanation so in very brief we have covered these two topics stay tuned happy coding